Ha <laughs> Hey, this is what y'all been waiting on. This is what y'all been waiting for, right? Right? Back in video. This is not my first back in video on, on this channel. Y'all know that if y'all a part of the two raw mob, man. Shout out to the two raw mob, man. Did none of this would be possible without y'all, you heard me? So I, I had to just go ahead and throw that out there, you know, this time. Hey, this ain't the first back in video, but this is the first back in video with the aerial footage. The footage from above the truck, man. I know y'all gonna love it. Y'all need to really pay attention to this video, though. Really pay close attention. Try to listen to me. Make out what I'm saying and how I'm saying it. It's gonna be instructions and stuff on the screen popping up for you. Man, I'm here for y'all, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to back. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. I'm gonna teach y'all how I do it. And uh, it worked for me 100% of the time and all that good stuff. So if y'all wanna back the way that I do, man, tune in to the video. All right, shout out to that boy DoorDash, the Tar Heel. He told me, Congratulations on the baby. The videos look good. We got our truck the same day. I wore the blue Panthers hat. I'm pretty sure that means Panthers. They say Panthers. Hat most of the time. Congratulations on everything. Hope to run into you on the road. Man, I appreciate you. This is the comment of the video I picked from the last video. So if y'all want to be featured on the videos, just like DoorDash the Tar Heel right here, make sure y'all go ahead and comment on these videos, man. And I just might pick your comment to be in the video. Shout out to my boy. Oh, on the fucking go, man. Shout out to O on the go. If y'all ain't heard of O on the go, man, y'all ain't really been on my channel because he was in the Trucking with Tay video that I got on my channel. That was O. Yes, that was him. You know what I'm saying? The Cheetos in his head and everything. That was O. That was O, man. If y'all ain't subscribed to his channel, go over there and subscribe to him. We just did a challenge. We got another challenge coming up right now, but I'm waiting on O. Go over there and tell him, hurry up with the challenge, man. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we go, man. Let's go ahead and creep up to this parking spot. If y'all look down at the truck from the area view, checking it out, I'm seeing how wide it is. I'm looking at the trucks on both sides of it, just scoping the scene out. And I'm seeing that this truck on my left side, this white truck is up way higher than the truck on my right side. So by default, this part gonna be harder than regular parts because that truck is up too high. So I'm moving up to that second truck. Once my other side window gets to the driver's side of that truck, I start to turn my wheel. If y'all need to rewind it to see, do that. I turned my truck maybe to like eight o'clock, nine o'clock to the right. And then when I got to that eight or nine o'clock, I made it sure I had went ahead and turned to the left. Oh, that way. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about if you're watching the video. You had to sit up like this and it's kind of steep obviously because this is a real tight spot considering for one that truck being as high as it is and also the trucks are too close at the top too a little bit i'm backing right now always keep it a hundred i'll spend time with you just go with it little mama flow with it the picture that i'm painting so vivid <laughs> With these type of parks, I usually jackknife my truck in. And that's literally what I was going for, but I overshot it by just a little bit. I didn't jackknife it hard enough. Well, I didn't jackknife it at all this first time, but I, I needed to, that's how I do these back. As y'all can see, I'm very, very close to that gray truck on that side. You can barely see from the area view, but just know I was very close to hitting that truck, very close realizing that i got too much space i got too much space on this driver's side right now and you never want that so i already knew you know his back was messed up i could have fixed it and i just got out so i'm getting out and looking right now i see right now that i was if i would have hit that gas just a little bit more i would hit that truck you know what i'm saying so you make sure y'all get out and look if you don't get out and look you're gonna regret it you're gonna regret it man you know, so I got out and looked. I scoped the scene. I see what I got to do. I could have finagled my way in, you know, and y'all about to see me try to finagle my way in. I think that's what I'm about to do right now. Running a quick sprint. They tell you that you can't do it. You say get bent. You about to pitch a tent. You about to build a fort. You about to get a brick. Other dudes did it slow and you did it quick. Other dudes did it foul. You did it legit. You be getting... What I did was I straightened my wheel up. 
and I pulled forward. All that did for me was gave me some room to hopefully jackknife my truck to a point where I would get that trailer to basically just pivot like those dry vans do. If y'all see me out there, man, y'all see me over there pivoting some wheels like I'm a 53 foot dry van trailer, man, don't even say nothing to me, just know, just know. So I tried to pull up and jackknife the trailer in, but I didn't have enough room. Yeah, I'm proud that you black man. So I pulled out, I'm pulling out now. I just gave up on it, man. I, I knew I wasn't gonna get it. So there y'all go, man. There y'all go. The best backer in the world actually mess up as well. You feel me? Y'all just seen it here. You seen it here first, man. So now I'm setting up, and I do this a lot when it comes to tight spots and stuff like that. I just pull up, you know, as far as I want to pull up. Because I see you. Listen and believe me, my G, and we need you to feed all the people the knowledge that they seeking. Black man, Egyptian. Look at this man. He didn't even know what I was about to do. He just came past. You know, like truckers. Truckers, man. But anyways, when I got spots like this, I usually do what I'm doing right now. I just pulled all the way up, you know, kind of in the middle of the road. And I gave myself enough room to back and actually feel out my trail and how it's moving, how close I'm cutting it and stuff like that. So this usually worked for me 100% of the time. I realized that I didn't cut my trailer hard enough for the first back. So now I'm jacking up. I'm proud of you black, you're an entrepreneur, you a go-getter, you a hustler, you a father, you a brother, you a family man. As y'all can see, it really look like my front axle right here on the trailer, it look like them tires are sitting up right now. You gotta jackknife it sometime, you just have to. You know what I'm saying just make sure you don't tip your trailer over. You gotta be watching it. I jackknifed this truck. Obviously, I did. I got in. I don't care what no other trucker say. You shot supposed to be jackknifing. This, that, that, that. Hey, y'all gonna have me curse over here, man. You glow. You shine. I'm yours. You mine. You beautiful. You fine. Good Lord. You see how I got my trailer right now? It's, it's kind of turned to the right, if you can see the front of my trailer. The reason I do that is because when I pull up and I straighten my wheels up to get up under the trailer, the trailer actually straightens up better than it would if I didn't have it pointed to the right like that. As you just saw, I oversteered a little bit when I'm backing up. So I had to pull up again to get my trailer straight a little bit. I'm gonna be very close to my left side. I'm gonna be very close to that truck on the left. But, and I'm not gonna straighten it up. And it's just for the sake of the video. But make sure y'all straighten y'all trucks up and y'all, you know, have an equal space between both of the trucks on sides. It's a safety precaution, man. You know, if somebody hits you, they might wanna blame you because you was too close to them in the first place, you know. That is how you back the Daddy Watt style, you hear me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If it's one thing that I know, haters always stay the same. It's your homies that'll change. It's your family that